You know, the mandatory evacuation of parts of the low country is well underway at this point. Lane reversals are in place on some of the major highways leading away from the coast. Officials are expecting three times the normal volume on I-26 out of Charleston and twice the normal volume on U.S. 278 out of Hilton Head. We want to get a live look for you right now along Interstate 26 in Columbia. You can see folks making their way along, traffic moving. But again, over the next few days, we could see a lot more traffic on our roads because those folks will no longer be on the coast. The lane reversal is a process. It began very early this morning. At 5 in the morning, they finally got it sort of reversed at noon. So Ben Hoover standing by live now at the 26 I-77 interchange that's in Columbia, where Ben evacuees from the coast are sort of funneling into the Midlands. How's it look? Well, Gordon, I'm in the spot, what they call the changeover. This is where the lane reversal ends. Of course, it begins in Charleston. It ends here at the I-77, I-26 interchange here in the Columbia area. So the traffic you see closest to us right here, this one car coming this way, this is lane reversal traffic heading along to 26 West up into the upstate. And the traffic you see across a little bit farther away from us, that's the actual normal I-26 westbound uh, lanes heading on to I-77 North. We were here earlier today when state troopers brought the first round of evacuees from Charleston here. Take a look. As you heard the anchors mention, the whole process started at 5 a.m. and then at 8 a.m. troopers then what they did what they called flushed the interstate eastbound, meaning they started here in Columbia and headed to Charleston, making sure nobody was on 26 East, that it was all clear. Then at 11 a.m., lane reversal evacuation started. Troopers say we've already seen three times the normal volumes on I-26 out of Charleston today. We want to remind the citizens of South Carolina, embrace these evacuees, pack your patients because, again, we're going to see a large influx of traffic. Trooper Jones went on to say that if the weather gets bad enough here in South Carolina, they might have to shut the interstate down completely. And the lane reversals, this affecting the traffic here, will not stop until the threat of that storm passes. We're live in Columbia, Ben Hoover, 7 News. Yeah, right at this time of day, too, Ben, there must be parts of Columbia where traffic is just awful. We'll check back with you tonight at 6 o'clock. Thanks, Ben.